Hey Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today I'm going to be restoring a hog splitter. This folks is what we call a hog splitter. It is a two-handed meat cleaver used for, you guessed it, splitting a hog carcass. They'll string it up by its legs, just go right down the center, cut the carcass into two with this thing. It's closer to a broadsword than a normal meat cleaver. It is enormous. This hog splitter is made by Foster Brothers. The blade is actually in really good shape. There's one or two little nicks in the blade. A little bit of discoloration on the blade, but nothing too crazy. But the handle's what needs the attention and restoration. You can see here the handle's got lots of play and wiggle in it, a lot of rust. Um, the pins right there are rusty and there's a, a pretty substantial chunk missing out of the back. More rust. You can see here there's some damage there as well. Still very much functional, but I want to get this thing not just functional, but looking awesome. So we're going to go ahead and repair the edge and get rid of all the nicks, polish this thing up, and put a brand new handle on it. Then we're going to try out this hog splitter uh, and put it to work. You can see how rusty the handle is compared to the blade. That's because there was a gap between the wood and the metal, and that gap allowed water to get in there and sit against the metal and rust it. So I'm gonna try the orbital sander on this to take the rust off. I think it'll be a little bit more gentle. We're gonna start with a 240 grit sandpaper and see what happens. Well, I just barely hit it with the orbital grinder, and I can see that there's a lot of ripples in it. This, this metal is not flat. And uh, I want it to be flat so I can prevent gaps in the handle from allowing water in. So I'm gonna go ahead and try something a little different, see if I can get this flatter. Not too shabby, looks pretty decent, but it's time to go inside and get some dinner. So I'm gonna go put this away and uh, we'll pick this up again later. Well, here we are. It's another lovely day and I'm gonna keep working on this hog splitter. And I'm trying to be nice and careful with this thing and not take off too much metal. I just wanna take the patina and the rust off and not much else. <laughs> That's what it looked like originally. And this is what we got now. Not too bad. Still need to buff it and do some other stuff, but we'll work on the other side first. Well, it's been a few days since I finished polishing this side of the hog splitter, but it's snowing outside, so I'm gonna polish this side here at my workbench. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, there we go. Mirror finish on both sides. For the handle of my hog splitter, I want to use a piece of this purple heartwood. It's just an absolute awesome color. The holes here are not quarter inch. They're not 3 16 inch. My best guess is that they're in metric. I'm going to drill it out to quarter inch and I'm gonna make this English units because this is America darn it, we don't do metric. Well, you can see there, I've ground away about half the material on this side. Now I need to start on this side. Obviously, using a belt sander is not the most efficient tool for this job, but it's the best tool I got, so make do with what you got. All right, that'll do it. Hopefully this works. All right, third one in with easy. Okay. Sure hope this works. A little off on that one. Well, there we go, the handle's on, the pins are in, the epoxy's setting. All we got left to do is just wait for it to dry and uh, and see what we got. Well, there we go, it's been a couple days, the epoxy's had plenty of time to harden, so we're gonna pull these clamps off and start shaping the handle. Whoa. You want to you want to do that? I want a knot. You want a knot? No. But there was oh you saw you found an ant? Yeah.
trying desperately not to take my fingers off doing this. There we go, nice and polished. That's what we call a mirror finish right there. Hi! <laughs> Woo! Could shave my face in this thing. Look at that. Could shave my face with this thing. That is a pretty tool right there. Look at that thing. Well, this has been a really fun project and I'm excited to test this hog splitter out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a pig carcass, but when the weather gets a little bit warmer, we're gonna change that. We're gonna throw ourselves a massive barbecue and we're gonna get to try this thing out. But for the meantime, I've got a couple other things that uh, might be fun to test this hog splitter out on. Guys, this project was an absolute ball and this hog splitter is awesome, man. I absolutely love this thing. If you like this video, make sure to click subscribe. We do tons of similar type videos. We've got a whole tool restoration playlist, We've got a whole forging video playlist. Check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and if you like these videos, click subscribe, because we got a whole bunch more coming your way. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video. Mmm, chicken.